what I have going on here is a, a control scenario for the kind of things that uh, John Hutchinson was doing. So uh, basically I have two Tesla coils facing each other and we can go from the Farnsworth multi-packer scenario to a firing it to the left or firing it to the right or any kind of balanced scenario in between to find out what goes on in this field in the middle that disassociates and associates matter um, outside the realm of the periodic table from what been reported by John Hutchinson does. Um, I have a um, drive mechanism set up. These guys are tuned. I'm still in the process of connecting this guy up, either two different drivers or parallel in the same drivers or serial what do I need to do to get this huge field going? Um, also, I want to measure in the middle um, some of the field anomalies and specifications that Keeley had mentioned in his books. And then I can take this whole, this whole bench scenario and put it on top of a color monitor and see what happens down there on the screen. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, it's like tuning a radio. And then I can have other other coils up here and other scenarios to read off of or to fire into that field also. One of the famous ones that Hutchinson does is he takes two tufts of coils this way, and they're not even dis they're on, but they're not discharging. And he has a white noise transistor, and he makes these little wooden uh, dolls jump around. Um, since he doesn't really show or explain, or he explains it by you know artwork. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mystery. He doesn't know how he does it. Um, I plan to take the mystery out of it by doing this, by, 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 by putting these um, adjustable co primaries on there. I also have... Um, I can raise these up. I can raise this whole stand up to be able to accommodate this kind of a primary at either end and put um, some kind of res uh, pancake receiver in the middle. So this is like a spreadsheet of Tesla coils. Using PVC is pretty much uh, doesn't affect the fields, and um, we'll see. But this has been months in the making now to get this part done, and all you do is keep hooking up and tuning it, and you pretty much to find the hit points on these guys. You use a uh, you use a pin. You find your tuning. You can chip away at the plastic on there and, and connect your alligator clip to that to get it to go or put a feed on there. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, but yeah, it's still totally programmable. So instead of having Tesla coils shooting up in the air and uh, discharging into the air, I want to capture that energy into a, a field anomaly in the middle. So we'll see what goes on in the future here with this. That's all.